Two other world powers engaged in a military cooperation with Australia. The UK and the USA have signed an agreement on sharing sensitive submarine data. The step aims to arm Canberra with nuclear-powered submarines. Today, we're taking another historic step to deepen and formalize cooperation among all three of our nations, <clears throat> because we all recognize the imperative of ensuring peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific over the long term. We need to be able to address both the current strategic environment in the region and how it may evolve. Because the future... In a step that is considered new of its kind and exclusive, the U.S. and the U.K. are to share nuclear propulsion information with Australia, according to the country's defense minister, Peter Dutton. Australia is currently under a 18-month period to examine the requirements to facilitate the delivery of the needed material to execute the signed deal. The future of the Indo-Pacific will impact all our futures. To meet these challenges, to help deliver the security and stability our region needs, we must now take our partnership to a new level. A partnership that seeks to engage, not to exclude, to contribute, not take, and to enable and empower, not to control or coerce. And so the deal would also allow the Australian servicemen to have the necessary training by their American and British counterparts that will enable them to properly build operational nuclear-powered submarines as a parliament committee will be assigned to review the deal of naval exchange. According to the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the security partnership is crucial in the protection of the Allies' shared interest in the Indo-Pacific region. On the other hand, China quickly condemned what it called Cold War mentality that can damage regional stability. The House will understand how Australia's future possession of this capability will help to safeguard the peace and security of the Indo-Pacific. France, after recalling its envoys following the Australian decision of cancelling the $90 billion diesel-electric submarine contract, considered the last Australian partnership with the USA and the UK a backstab.